What's up everybody? It's Chris with LG Squared here at the High Performance Home in Marietta, Georgia. Last week on Friday, we did our blower door test post rough in, which means after all the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing penetrations were uh, put in the uh, building enclosure. The code requires a seven ACH50 in uh, many jurisdictions and in Georgia here we are at 5 ACH50, uh, specifically Atlanta and Marietta, they require the 5 ACH50. And we were testing at a 0 .09 ACH. And, uh, if you factored in the leakage around the blower door frame, it's probably closer to 0 .05. And we'll, we'll tweak that on the next test, but that's, that's kind of where we're at now. We're assuming about a 0 .05, 0 .06 ACH50, which is extremely tight. So the big question that we keep getting about this lower rate is, how are you going to ventilate the house? Because being so tight, there's not a lot of air exchange, so there's not a lot of fresh air coming. Uh, if you just left it the way it is, you wouldn't get a lot of fresh air from outside coming in and uh, exhaust air going out, which is the bad air. So I want to go over the fresh air system to try to explain how we're doing it. It's uh, every ventilation system that we've done on our homes is a, it's a very custom one. We don't use energy or heat recovery ventilators. The primary reason for that is there's an upfront cost, there's an operation, operating cost on those ERVs. And frankly, what we found is that with our custom ventilation systems that we integrate into uh, the system of the home and the mechanical systems, uh, the heating and air conditioning systems, this ventilation system is very effective, it's very efficient, and it's very quiet. So we'll start with the, uh, the, the systems themselves. We've got uh, basic, they're just inline fans that um, dump fresh air into our semi-conditioned attic, which is part of the building enclosure. In that attic, we have our uh, ducted uh, VRF air handlers. VRF is variable refrigerant flow. A lot of, uh, often they're referred to as mini splits because you have one large system with one outdoor unit split up into many uh, smaller air handlers. Like in our case, we have a uh, 12,000 BTU unit and a 9,000 BTU unit, U BTU unit. Uh, on a single outdoor unit, which is about uh, uh, 24,000 BTUs. So this is a mini split, meaning instead of just the traditional split of one outdoor unit and one indoor unit, we have two indoor units. So that system is inside our semi-conditioned attic, uh, which we are gonna treat as basically a return plenum. So on the return side of the air handler, we've made, we've increased the size of the return air opening so that we can get a very large air filter in there to um, provide more surface area so that the return air that comes into the air handler has had, uh, has a lot of surface area to run through, which one filters uh, a lot of the, the, the contaminants. Uh, it also, uh, by having a larger filter, it reduces the static drop that's available for the system to deliver the, the air throughout the home. So we've always just opened that thing as wide as possible, put as big a filter as we can get uh, on there that's practical for being able to change. Uh, we always use a permanent filter so it's easy to take out, you rinse it, let it dry and put it back in. Uh, easy for the homeowner, easy for your technician. So with the system inside the attic, we dump, like I said, we dump our fresh air into the attic for that air handler to then pick up that fresh air, filter it, and condition it before it's distributed through the supply ductwork into the home. That system, just in line with that inline fan, in the duct system, there is also a filter box. That filter box has a minimum MERV 13 permanent filter in it as well. So it passes through that filter, then it goes through the fan, and then the fan dumps it into the semi-conditioned attic, where the air handler picks it up, filters it again, conditions it, and then distributes it, distributes it throughout the home through the supply ductwork. And then we have another Fantech inline fan 
exhausting air from the home, and they're both controlled by the same controller. And it's a variable speed controller, and on that controller we will put settings for the homeowner to know when you have this many people in the house, you, you, you set it here, and when, you're, when it's just you, you set it here. This is our uh, fresh air intake, okay, so it's got a little, it comes with uh, an integrated bug screen and a little grill here, a little uh, uh, louvered grill there. And so we will also be putting an uh, inset screen on the inside of here to permanently to stay there because the, the, although this is an insect screen, it still could allow some smaller bugs into, uh, into the duct system. So we're going to put an insect screen on the inside of this. So this goes on the outside and then for our, uh, and then just inside of that, we also have this cape backdraft damper. So as the air comes in this way, if, when, the, when there's the pressure, when the, uh, when the fan is turned on, it's pulling air through this sleeve, and in this sleeve we've got this little cape, okay? So when, when there's positive pressure in the house, when the house has pressure pushing out and the system is off, this cape falls, collapses like this and pushes and doesn't allow air then to get into the home. We put these on every penetration, every duct penetration in the exterior on both the exhaust and the intake. So we have two systems, two, two inline fans, one bringing fresh air in, one bringing and exhausting that, the, the bad air. The exhaust system is pulling from a central space in the home through this duct, this is also a Fantech, um, excuse me, a Fantech grill. Just go ahead and open it now. Anyway, it's adjustable. Uh, it just spins here, that's tightening it down, and as you see, as I'm twisting it, it opens up. So we can regulate the amount of air here and at the fan. So we have a lot of ways to control air, the amount of flow and then when we go to test and balance the system and when we have someone come in and test make sure we have the right amount of airflow we can make adjustments in multiple locations so just to, to wrap this up we've got for the fresh air in the home we've got two inline fans one to supply fresh air in the home and one to exhaust it the fresh air bring the the system bringing the fresh air into the home is dumping it into a semi-conditioned attic where we have both heating and air conditioning air handlers that are part of a mini split system or a VRF variable refrigerant flow system. Uh, this one's by Mitsubishi. Uh, but the fresh air is dumped into the semi-conditioned attic where uh, it's, but before that it's filtered, then it's dumped into the attic where the air handler is and it has an oversized filter that filters the air, conditions it, and then distributes it throughout the home. Now, this system and the house itself is the, the ERV and the system, the heating and air conditioning system is working with that, uh, with the fresh air system to then exchange that air by dumping it into and near the return plenum, the return opening of the air handler, picking it up, filtering it, conditioning it, and then distributing it. So the owners will never feel direct fresh air from outside from the ventilation system. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below the comments below. Well, that's the ventilation system for the high performance Marietta home that, uh, we're, that is under construction now. Thanks for checking this out. Again, ask, ask away, uh, let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you next time uh, with here at the high performance Marietta home.